In this video, we will learn how to calculate yield to maturity. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice estimating the rate of return for bonds. What is a bond? A bond is a loan that is given to a company or government by investors. They have maturity dates when the money is paid back to the lender. For today's activity, you'll be estimating a bond's return rate, or in other words, yield to maturity. We can calculate for this if we assume that the investor buys the bond at the current market price and holds it until it has reached its full value at maturity. The formula for yield to maturity is provided here, as well as our variables of the coupon payment, face value, price, and years until maturity. Let's try this example. You want to purchase a bond that has a price of $875, with a face value of $1,000. With an 8% coupon rate for this 15-year bond, what is the estimated yield to maturity? We can plot that formula from earlier here at the top of our workspace to refer back to. Then we can identify the variables we need for the formula. We will need the price of 875 and the face value of 1,000. Now we are provided with a coupon rate but we need that coupon payment, so we can take the percent rate and multiply it to the face value. In order to find 8% of 1,000, we can multiply 0 0.08 times 1,000, which gives us $80. Lastly, we know that the bond will reach maturity in 15 years. Now that we have accurately identified our variables, we can substitute them into the formula. We can take our coupon rate of 80 and add this fraction, where we'll take the face value of 1,000 and subtract the price of 875. Next, we have to divide by n, which is years, so we'll put 15. Then we will take all of this and divide by the denominator, which will be the face value again of 1,000, but this time we will add the price of 875 and then divide this sum by 2. Sweet. Now we have correctly substituted all the values into the formula. The last step we can do here is use order of operations to solve. Following order of operations, we can subtract 1000 minus 875, which gives us 125. Then divided by 15 is 8.3. Then we have 1000 plus 875, which equals 1875. This divided by 2 gives us 937.5. Lastly, we can add what's in the numerator and get 88.3 divided by 937.5, giving us a final answer of 0 0.094187. That means, in percent form, our final yield to maturity for this bond is approximately 9.4%. So what does this mean? When investing in bonds, people will be provided the return of the face value at maturity, the promise that they will be paid a fixed rate of interest income, as well as the assurance of less vulnerability to price swings and volatility than stocks. Now, while the average returns for bond investments have been historically lower than stocks, they have been more stable than the average stock market returns. Let's review how to calculate yield to maturity. First, identify your variables, including your coupon rate, face value, price, and years until maturity. Then, you can substitute the values into the formula. Lastly, use order of operations to solve for your final solution. Now it's your turn. There is a bond on the market priced at $900 with a face value of $1,000. What is the estimated yield to maturity if the coupon rate is 10% and the bond reaches maturity in eight years? Great work on practicing estimating yield to maturity. Continue on to the practice problems on your worksheet. You got it.